Did you know the calendar trick? If not, watch this video. So for today's video, I will show you the calendar trick. Now the calendar trick we will answer is how to find the day of the week given any date. Now this is very simple. What we need to do is know the year code plus the month code plus the day and that's all we need and we can now get the day of the week given any date. So let's start with an example. All right. The first one is December 22, 1887. Now, this date is the birthday of the great mathematician Srinbanas Ramanujan. So the question is, what is the day of the week Ramanujan born? So let's answer this question. Now first, let's start with the year, which is 1887, then followed by the month, followed by the day. Now, since it is an example, the year code of 1887 must be equal to 6. Plus, we need to add the month code for December, and December the month code is 4. Then we need to add the date, which is 22. Now, what we're going to do here is to add all of these numbers. So we have 6 plus 4 plus 22. And surely, we get 32. Now, we need to subtract the largest multiple of 7 from 32, which is equal to 28. Now, 32 minus 28 will give us an answer of 4. Now, this 4 tells us that the day of the week Ramanujan born must be on Thursday. Therefore, December 22, 1887 is Thursday. Now, let's have another example. Alright. So, we have now November 1, 2023. Now, let's have first the year. We had 2023, the month, November, and the 1. Now, since it is an example, the year code for 2023 is 0. Now, the month code for November must be equal to 2, so we need to add this. And we need to add the day, which is 1. Now, 0 plus 2 plus 1 must be equal to 3. Now, since 3 is less than 7, therefore, it, this corresponds to Wednesday. Therefore, November 1, 2023 must be Wednesday. Alright, another example. Last one. Then I will teach you how to do this trick. Alright, we have December 25, 2023, Christmas Day. Now, the year code for 2023, you know, for this one, which is 0. Now, the month code for December must be equal to 4. Then we need to add the 25. Now, if we add those numbers together, we get 29. Then we subtract the largest multiple of 7, which is equal to 28. Now, 29 minus 28 will give us 1. Now, this one tells us that December 25, 2023 must be fall on Monday. Therefore, Christmas Day on the year 2023 must be on Monday. Now, you have some questions like, what is this year code? So, how do we get the year code? Another is the month code. So, how do we get the month code? And also, the, the day is just bring down or just add the day. And this one, why do we subtract a multiple of 7? And of course, the 1. Once we get an answer, how do we know that it is on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Now, I will teach you now how to do this trick. So watch the video until the end. So let's do that. All right. Now, this one, the final answer tells us the day of the week. So we need to memorize this table. Now, if we get an answer of 1, it tells us that that day is Monday or one day. If the answer is 2, we get Tuesday or 2 day. If we get 3 as the answer, that is Wednesday or third day. If we get 4, that is Thursday or 4 day. If we get 5, that is Friday or 5 day. If we get 6, 
that is Saturday or 6th day. If we get 7 or 0 or a multiple of 7, that is Sunday or 7 day or none day. Alright, so memorize this table. This table is very easy to memorize, of course. Now, how about this 28? So, why do we subtract a multiple of 7? The reason is the day of the week repeats every 7 days. Alright, that is very simple. Now, how about this 4? How do we get this month code? Alright, so to get the month code, we need to memorize this table again. Okay. This is the month code for January to December. So we have January, February up to December. We have 622-503-514-624. So there are 12 numbers you need to remember. But take a look at this. We have asterisk for January and February because those are special months. The reason is if we have a leap year, if we have a leap year, January becomes 5. The month code for January becomes 5. And February becomes 1. This is just 1 less than the normal year. Now, if you can't remember those numbers like me, so I will tell you my technique to memorize those numbers that corresponds to month. Now, let's say for example, January. January I concentrate to the word winter. Now, winter have six letters. Therefore, the month code for January is six. All right. Now, how about in February? February is the second month. So, two is the month code for February. Now, let's move on to November. November is second month to the last. So, the month code for November is also two. And December is the last month, therefore, I need to memorize the word last or L-A-S-T. It has four letters, therefore, the month code for December is four. Now, let's move on. April, to memorize this April, April equals to five. April is related to the word fools or April fools. Now, fools, F-O-O-L-S, have five letters. Therefore, the month code for April is 5. Now, since we have a month code for April, we know that is 5. Now, August, start with A. Just recall the boy band in 90s. That is A1. So, the month code for August is 1. Now, for May, I memorize May Onays. Therefore, the month code for May is 0. So, May Oh, nice. Next, how about on October? This is the preparation for trick or treats. So I just remember the word tricks or treats. Tricks and treats have six letters. Therefore, October, the month code for October is six. Next, Mar, I recall the word Mario Brothers, Mario and Luigi. So March, the month code is just two. The next one, June. I recall my co-teacher, Sir June, he loves bag. Bag, B-A-G, three letters. So June, the man code for June is three. And July, I recall the word fiberworks. So five is the month code for July. And for September, I just remember the word fall. F-A-L-L is have four letters. So, the month code for September is 4. Now, recall those keywords and numbers because we will use this a lot of times. Alright. Next, how about the year code? Now, as you notice, we always do the year first before the month and the day because the month and the day are very easy but the year code we will do some computations now let's see what are those computations for the year code what we're going to do is to memorize the sanctuary code all right we define 2000 as zero 
Now, 1900 is 1, 1800 is 3, 1700 is 5, 1600 is 0. As you can see, it repeats by 4 years. 2100 is 5, 2200 is 3, 2300 is 1, and 2400 again is 0. Now, how do we get or how do we compute for the year code? Here's the formula. We need to compute for the years plus 25% of the years, which is one fourth of the year, plus the century code, which is this code. Now, for example, in 2023, the year is 23. So what we're going to do is get 23. Then add 25% of 23. Why we get 25%? Because Every four years, we have a leap year. But don't forget that if a year is a multiple of 100, this is not a leap year. Therefore, 1,700 is not a leap year, 1,800 is not a leap year, and 1,900 is not a leap year. But there's an exemption to the exemption because when a year is a multiple of 400, it is a leap year. So, 1,600 is a leap year. 2,000 is a leap year. 2,400 is a leap year because those years are multiple of 400. Alright, so let's continue. Now, 25% of 23 is just 20 divided by 4. We get 5. Just disregard the remainder. So, 23 divided by 4 is 5. So, add 5. Then the century code for 2000 must be equal to 0. So just add 0 to it. Now what we're going to do is to add them. And sure enough, we get 28. Next, we subtract the largest multiple of 7. And that is 28. Now 28 minus 28 will give us 0. Therefore, the month code for 2023, as you see, we have here 0. Alright, now. How about the year code of the birthday of Ramanujan, which is 1887? So to get the year code, what we need to do is to get the year, which is 87. Next, add 25% of the year because we need to add the leap years. So every four years is a leap year. So 87 divided by 4 or 84 divided by 4, the largest multiple of 4, 84 divided by 4, is equal to 21, which is this one, this number. Then add the century code, which is equal to 3. So this 3 is the century code. Now, 87 plus 21 plus 3. Now what we're going to do here is just eliminate all the multiple of 7. As you can see, this 21 is a multiple of 7, so just cancel this 21. Now 87, the largest multiple of 7 is 84. So just subtract ahead of time 84. This will give us 3 plus 3. Now, 3 plus 3 is very easy. This is just equal to 6. Therefore, the year code for 1887 must be equal to 6. Now, since you know how to compute for the year code, the month code, and the day, you can now get the day of the week given any date. So let's have some examples. All right. First example is what day of the week is April 16, 1954. So first, let's take the year. Or if you ask for a person, just ask the year first. All right. So if you know the year, what you're going to do is take the year plus 25% of the year plus the century code. Now, the year is 54. Now, 25% of 54, 52 is the largest multiple of 4. So, 52 divided by 4 is 13. So, add 13, then add 1 because 1900, the century code is 1. So, 54 plus 13 plus 1, just eliminate all the multiples of 7. So, 14 is a multiple of 7, cancel out 13 plus 1. Now, 54, the largest multiple of 7 is 49. So, 54 minus 49 will give us 5. Therefore, the year code for 1954 is simply equal to 5.
Now, April, the month code is false. April false. False is 5. So, the month code is 5. And then bring down 16. Now, add all of these numbers and we get 26. Then subtract the largest multiple of 7 which is equal to 21. And surely, we get 5. Therefore, April 16, 1954 is Friday or 5 day. And that's it. You can check to your cell phone. So, April 16, 1954 is Friday. Now, how about another example? Let's have May 14, 2035. So, what we're going to do is to take the year first, 2035, get the year 35, plus 25% of the year, which is 8, because 32 divided by 4 is 8. Then the um, century code is 0, because 2000 is 0. Now, cancel all the multiple of 7. So, just subtract 7 from 8. And sure, we're going to up, we get 1. 35 is a multiple of 7, so just cancel out 35. And this is equivalent to 1. Therefore, the year code for 2035 must be equal to 1. Now, May, May O Nays. So the month code for May is 0 because May O Nays. Now add 14. Next, from this list, you can now eliminate all the multiples of 14. And sure enough, you get 1. But for this video, we need to add those numbers. So we get 15. Then subtract a multiple of 7, which is 14. And we get 1. Therefore, we can say that May 14, 2035 falls on Monday. Or 1 day. And that is the answer. Now, how about the next example? Let's have... January 6, 1991. This is my birthday. <laughs> All right. So, 1991, to get the year code, what we're going to do is to get the year, which is 91, then add 25% of the year, which is 22, or 88 divided by 4, the largest multiple of 4, divided by 4 is 22, then add 1. Now, ahead of time, Eliminate a multiple of 7. So you can uh, subtract 21 right away to 22. And this will give us 1. And 91 is a multiple of 7. So just eliminate 91. So 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So the year code for 1991 is simply equal to 2. Now January is winter. Winter have 6 letters. So January has a man code of 6. Now bring down 6. Now Add those numbers together or eliminate a multiple of 7 ahead of time. But for this video, let's add. So this will give us 14. Now subtract 14 because the largest multiple of 7. And this will give us 0. Therefore, January 6, 1991 falls on. Very good. That is non-day or 7-day or sun-day. And that is the answer. All right. Now, how about for the last example? Let's have December 5, 1954. This is the birthday of my mother. So, December 5, 1954. So, what is the day of the week she was born? So, let's answer this question. Get the year. We have 54. Then, add 25% of the year. So, 25% of 54 is 13 because 52 it's the largest multiple of 2 divided by 4 will give us 13. Now, 54 plus 13 plus 1. Then, 13 plus 1 is a multiple of 7. So, just cancel this out. Now, on 54, subtract the largest multiple of 7, which is equal to 49. So, 54 minus 49 will give us 5. Therefore, the year code for 1954 must be equal to 5. Now, December, the last month, so the month code is 4. For the word last, L-A-S-T, and bring down 5 as the date. Now, 5 plus 4 plus 5 will give us 14. Subtract the largest multiple of 7, which is 14, and we get 0. Therefore, December 5, 1954 is definitely a Sunday. Therefore, this is our answer. So, hope you learned something today. And hope to see you on our next video.